Hello there, and welcome back. In my last video, I have mentioned I might take you on another wintry and snowy trip to the mountains. Well, here we are, back in the Italian Dolomites. Today we will abandon the heights of the mountain peaks and take a look at some beautiful lakes and other places this region offers. Now, where should we begin? I am thinking of starting in my favorite place, if I'm not counting ski slopes. That is probably the top one for me. Though this one comes right after, taking a Proud second place. Anterselva. It is a biathlon place. And yes, it is one stop in the world championship. I hope it is a world championship. Please, any sports people out there, do forgive me if I've got that wrong. Anyway. The area offers an extensive number of cross-country ski tracks that are well taken care of and it is a pure joy to just glide and watch these beautiful sceneries. Yep, sorry for the weather here. I wish I had the camera with me on a day with a less cloudy weather. But worry not, where my camera fails? The internet can step in and show you what I'm talking about. That there indeed are beautiful things hidden behind the foggy wall. Maybe you've noticed, but this is a pretty vast area here. There is a reason for that. If you had looked closely at the map before, you would have noticed a nearby lake. Well. The moment there is solid enough ice on the surface, the lake itself becomes one of the cross-country skiing tracks as well. And believe me, it is something wonderful. Besides, there is a food place at the opposite side of the lake. They don't serve an extensive offer of meals, but to grab something warm to drink, like some tea or a cup of hot chocolate. Well, who could possibly say no to that? If you're in for something more challenging than a three kilometers long panoramic and completely flat track, then you might be interested in trying one of the red or black roads. They are certainly more demanding. The second place I want to show you is, well, another lake. I know I have seen this one on some absolutely picturesque photographs, on Pinterest or elsewhere, I can't quite remember now. And the first time I have seen them, I had not recognized the lake because during my visit it was snowed over and covered in ice. Photographs usually depict an absolutely insane shade of aqua blue water. And I am curious about how much these pictures are edited or not. One day I will pay a visit to this lake during summer and compare it myself. Third place I'm taking you today is the city, Brunico. There is an absolutely wonderful street you can enter it through this very old and beautiful gate. Sorry for not having my own camera shots. For some reason, I forgot to take my camera with me. And if you're in need of a little spa time, Brunico has a totally amazing place. They have saunas, whirlpools, and a gorgeous complex of indoors and outdoors swimming pools. The outdoor one is especially something. Enjoying the hot water, the mist around you as the water evaporates in the cold, 
and the beautiful mountain range in the distance. What an amazing place to relax. With that, I think we have reached the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Let me wish you a great day or night. And I will see you again soon. Bye.